Huh? Uh, no one knows that word. It's never correct, but the more you say, the more interesting it gets. Koba Hakaba. Koba Hakaba. Koba Hakaba. Koba Hakaba. Hello guys, what's up? Good morning. So the second day in the city of Kano. I'm currently chilling in my grandfather's. I'm currently chilling in one of those vintage cars, you know, that's parked at the resort here we're staying at. And I am having a really, really amazing time. Have I shown you guys what this place looks like? Let me do that. Area over there. <laughs> yeah, actually, no, actually, that's a tree right from the ground. Because it feels so like much it. like Yankari. Yeah, you know, so correct. much like it. Okay, now let's start from um, the distance from the Kano city. Oh, that's you know, true. It's about 45 minutes. Exactly, away from exactly. City, you know, away from the hustle and bustle. And same with um, Yankari, it's about an hour from Bauchi city. So, you know, it keeps you away from the I mean, hustle I, and bustle. I, I just enjoy the natural environment. I mean, I, I feel like if there are wildlife here, this would just be like another Yankari no, game reserve. Be perfect Yankari, and this would be our safari ride. Ah! <laughs> Just for the record, man, you're on camera. So, how are you finding this place, man? It's amazing. Properly amazing. If you had to pick, like, one of these cars, like, that blue one, just another black one behind the blue one, this guy here, and this cool gold-colored guy right here. I'm going with this one. This black guy. Awesome. That is taste. Yeah, man! Run! Run! Go! And we are out, we are about to take like a canoe ride, you know. I kind of left my gimbal in the car, so this footage might be a little bit shaky, but nonetheless, I can't miss this, and you guys should. We are here for some us riding. Oh my god, here is our angel right here. Hard five to make time. Can you do that? Boom. By the potassium, ash, ash. Oh, it's ash. then we have the local potassium. Sorry, this one we people here are the one for us. So when we come to make the, the to make the ingredient, the ingredient you need is ash. You know, but women first, and it's taking like four weeks. This is actually like a ritual. All these people are going to round us with what they have here. We're going to be surrounded by it. Apparently, it's a bit of marketing, but I'm very much excited to be here. I've learned a lot. Actually, this time that is not it's not just about clothes. It's actually it's, um, it also go as far as you know medicinal um, benefits to the you know 
to your body. So yeah, I just bought this. Yeah, please help me hold it. From him. Okay. What up? We are still out in the city of Kano and I just have to quickly say that Kano is such a mega mega city you know with natural resources flowing in every angle and also human capital the population here is huge you know so we are still at the Gidan Makama Museum here in Kano but unfortunately there are no photos or videos allowed inside but there are loads and loads of historical information so I would recommend that whenever you're in Kano you actually come here you know and check it out yourself So we came out here at ShopRite to have lunch. You know, the other, the rest of the crew had some fancy restaurants inside the mall, having some fancy food of life. But anyway, uh, we still have a couple of things to check out in town before we retire back to the hotel. It's a probability that we are going to be getting to the hotel very late. That was the same thing that happened yesterday. So basically, we are at one of the city walls in Kano. So like many, many, many years ago, the people of Kano had this wall that you know that protected them from enemies and all of that. And if you cross this wall, it means that you are now vulnerable to attack and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I don't have much to say, but there's just, just, just a lot to digest on this trip. And I'm... We are now returning back to our hotel. There are about 14 or so gates that uh, we wanted to look at but unfortunately we can't because of time constraints everybody is tired we just want to get back to the hotel and go chill out Kano is a blast as in this experience has been like my most amazing experience yeah. traveling Nigeria. There are loads of amazing people on this trip and she's one of them. Alright, so we're gonna rest for a little bit and then head to the swimming area. I actually started my swimming lessons yesterday and I'm kind of getting the hang of it so I'm very pumped to go back to the swimming pool and see how much I can learn before I leave the city. All right, guys. So I, I honestly feel tired. I just feel like I should grab dinner and go straight to bed. I am exhausted. I'll see you guys on the other side. Good morning, guys. It's about past six a.m. I just woke up actually, and yeah, I'm trying to go for a quick run. I haven't been able to get my run in since I got here. You haven't been time for that. I'm trying to do that this morning you know, to get that heat going, and I'm still like moving around. With my camera do uh, it isn't gonna be a serious run just a quick shot one then I still want to take some you know morning images um, because of the view of the water over there so all right car. yeah it's crazy car man remind me of uh... That car where did you drive for expandable? <laughs> yeah. The morning run is done, it was good. But yeah, for the photos, not so much. The weather has been really flat. So there isn't so much for landscape photography. It's making most of the photography really boring. I think I'll probably go back into the pool right now. How are you? Doing good? I don't get man, why would anyone not love cats? I mean those guys are so cute and cuddly and they can be very lazy too, which I love so much about them anyway. Okay guys, so this is probably a nice time to tell you guys about my friends. They are called Voucher Friends. Now Voucher Friends is a you know tourism platform and they are doing really amazing stuff in you know cultural tourism and domestic tourism. You know, the guys they brought me to um, to come explore the city of Kano with them and I'm really excited that they did. So you guys should truly check them out, give them a follow on social media and you guys should look forward to their next trip because these guys are doing something amazing they are showing 
you know, the beauty of Nigeria, you know, the cultures and everything, which I'm really interested in and I'm happy to be, you know, working with them in this capacity. So you guys should totally check them out. We are going to, you know, Alright guys, so today is the day we leave this beautiful paradise called Porto Golf Resort in Minjibir, part of Kano State. Um, and it is so hard, so hard. I mean, it is like saying goodbye to a loved one. This place is so beautiful and I had so much fun. I can't wait to be back, you know. Just taking a last walk around like part of the premises now. And there are those parrots over here. Maybe they will say hi to me. And this resort is really massive, you know, really, really massive. It just goes to say that there are loads and loads of, you know, travel destination, honeymoon destination in Nigeria. But most of these places, like people don't really know about them. So I hope if you're watching this or whenever you watch this, you know, maybe plan a trip to Kano. You would be shocked that, you know, the kind of amazing... How are you swimming? It was good. We didn't see you this morning. I was Hi. ready. How are Hello, you Hello, I'm good. Great. Hope you had an amazing time here. I absolutely did. I so did. are I you did. are you happy to be leaving? No. No, but be I'll more. be back. Definitely, that's what I'm, I'm talking I'm about. That's here. what no. I am talking about. This was a rush. Yeah, we are all coming back. back. We're coming back. Yeah, we are 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 coming back. Too late, you guys said this kind of is late. So if you're mentioning about your friend a lot in this blog, and this is the guy running the show. This yeah. is the guy running the show. So thank you very much. This was an this, this was a really exciting trip. Well, what should we be looking out to next from about your friends? Yeah. Actually, we're planning for something big. You just keep glued to our. I love that you guys just stay glued. Stay glued to about yeah. your friends. I'll bring you guys all the whole information. Oh, but yeah. most importantly, do well to follow this guy. All right, so we are now back in town, actually the Asian side of Kano. We are stopping at the Kasuan Kurumi Market. Kasuan is market in Aosa, yes. So we are stopping at the Kurumi Market to check out some local artifacts and other things like that. So we are out of the market now, and right now we are at Dala Il. Um, Dala Il is somewhere the ancient, you know, part of Kano. You know, and even coming here, you know, kind of looks similar to maybe what you have in Marrakech in Morocco. But I've never been to Morocco. I've just seen pictures, so I feel like it's kind of look the same. You know, those narrow parts with all those traditional, you know, artifact things hanging on the wall and stuff like that. So it's really beautiful. So we're gonna be hiking this hill for a couple of minutes, and we'll see as it goes at the top. This hill. Is under the leadership of one person called Barbushe. And the Barbushe is a very, very strong person. It's a hunter also. He used to go the, to hunt the, the animal from all you can see. That is all the city you can see. It's nothing but bush. Okay. The, the, the history is saying that the, the Barbushe is, because he's very strong, he used to kill the elephant and carry it on his shoulder and wow. come bring it to his people. <laughs> for the dinner and the other thing. Mm. Then That's gradually when they are doing that, and <laughs> that time, all these people are the real Hausa, and they are non-religion followers. They don't believe in any religion. In Hausa, we call them as Magudawa. The, the, the spirit come and settle on top of this. The spirit come and settle, and the, 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 the people then, the spirit tell them what exactly they want, and make them to be a, a, his slave. As them. Hey, that, you know that the, 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 uh, the around the around the, the other men still you can if you want to see such kind of people see the road going to to like a cassette thing what the history is saying that any emir passed to
are just descending the hill now you, and it was really good up there see you already know you already know you already know the job in this <laughs> so once in climbing this hill reminds me of my hometown in okene because you have the similar view when you climb you know the highest point time is about say 3 p.m now which is really really late we are still in Kanu. we are even here to get to kaduna so we are definitely behind time and it means that we are going to get to abuja really really late that's good guys it's about 6 p.m now we are we just arrived in kaduna we still have about two hours right back to abuja but for a quick stop in kaduna we need to stop and grab something to eat so we are checking republic right now the bus is empty so the rest of the crew you know had left they are inside there so i'll just have to go join them right now it's been an amazing trip i hope i still get to talk to you guys as soon as i get to abuja i am exhausted and as a matter of fact there are just loads and loads of footages to edit you know so in fact, I'm beginning to think about how I put all of this thing together and make sense of the vlog at the end of the day. Alpha, anything to eat? Yes, sir. You already know my spec now. You don't have me other. Oh, yes. I see. The camera is rolling that what? <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we have landed in Abuja. It was a crazy journey, really tired. We are all exhausted, but we are thankful, thankful, and grateful for a you know a good journey. And one final word, one final word. Hi guys. Exhausted. Yeah, hey, about you, friend Musti. Come, come, come and show your face. Come and say your bye bye to the guys. Okay, bye. Definitely, we are doing this again. Bye. Definitely doing this again. Bye. Amazing. Travelers. <laughs>